Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of prioritizing your goals. The truth is, if you don't make your goals and dreams a priority, then you will always be making excuses on why they can't come true. Taking the time to focus and prioritize your goals and how they can manifest is essential in making them a reality. Prioritization is not always fun, however. It often takes making sacrifices. For example, choosing not to go to a party and working on your goals instead, or choosing to go to bed early so you can go to work the next day. Prioritizing your goals means being temporarily uncomfortable, sacrificing working overtime and stepping outside your comfort zone. The great news is prioritizing your goals equals making them happen. Where focus goes, energy flows. You'll also find the universe rewards you when you start to take action. Step by step, results begin to happen. When you look back and reflect on all your hard work, you are relishing your success you accomplished because you earned it. Remember, the harder the hustle, the sweeter the success. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. That you look amazing. You're 73 years young. I am loving aging. What, what actress, entrepreneur, writer, women, woman, woman. <laughs> yeah. I like the way I look. I like the way I feel. I sleep well. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. All natural sweetener, flavor all. 20 flavors to choose from. The perfect substitute for sugar and artificial sweeteners. Flavor All from Greenish, now available at Rexall Pharmacies. Next up on the show, we have American actress, author, and entrepreneur Suzanne Summers. Suzanne is the number one New York Times bestselling author and has launched her new book, A New Way to Age. Suzanne, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm um, surviving the pandemic. Um, I'm in the desert. And um, if you have to stay in, this is a nice place to stay in. We've been in our home here, uh, Alan Hamill, who's a Canadian guy. Yeah. Um, uh, older Canadians all know who, Cal who Alan Hamill is. And um, we're just kind of having a good time together. I've been with Alan for 50 years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like to hear Canada. If you see the CN Tower in the back, <laughs> yeah. we're all about our fellow Canadians. Let's first of all, I want to say that you look amazing. You're 73 years young, and Thank you. I want to dive into your book, A New Way to Age. Let's talk about it and what inspired I them. to have it here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what inspired this book? <laughs> well, you know, this is my 27th book. Wow. It's 27, right, Alan? Yeah. I, I, for a moment, I've been thinking it's 37, but I've got so many in my head. You know, I'm Irish. We Irish write or drink. I do both. So um, I, uh, I have followed the flow of my life with my books. And at this point, I've interviewed all of the most incredible cutting-edge doctors on the globe. When mm -hmm. I first started writing about bioidentical hormones, I could only find 30 doctors in the entire United States who were versed in that and now there are millions and they have uh, conferences all over the world. So the book is uh, in 
I don't know how many countries, but there are 25 million books of mine in print. And so something I've done has hit a, a nerve. And the nerve that I am passionate about is if you don't have to take pharmaceutical drugs, yeah. which I'm not against at all, at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. When you need them, you need them. They're a godsend. And I fractured my hip earlier this year and man, did I need them. But I like to go natural first. Mm -hmm. And uh, my product line, uh, Suzanne Organics, is all about, you know, not putting chemicals on your skin because that all ends up in your bloodstream because there's, yeah. there's an epidemic right now of mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. And why? What is What has changed? And what has changed over the course of my 73 years? When I grew up, there wasn't anything called organic food because no one ever conceived of putting poison yeah. on our food. And so I think that's the big thing that has changed. And there are doctors who are MDs. These are, these are bona fide doctors who have stood back saying, it's not working. Something's not working about what we're doing. And mm. so these are alternative doctors who are MDs who went back to school to relearn the effect of chemicals on the human body, on the human brain, why there's an epidemic of Alzheimer's, mm. uh, why it's almost an accepted fact that we're gonna you know, live for a certain period of time and then we'll end up with either heart disease, cancer, or Alzheimer's. Yeah. or all three and you've seen it and I've seen it and we've got to way too many funerals and so what what this book is and then I'll let you ask me some questions I'm sorry <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> it's um, a repeat of some of the doctors I've interviewed in other of my books mm -hmm. um, one of the most um, incredible is a doctor from Belgium Dr. Terry Hertog and because of him getting natural thyroid uh, supplementation uh, is available because it was illegal. Now, if you understand the thyroid, uh, if your thyroid isn't right, you're not right. And so mm. I think people will really find that interesting. Also, if you're not, ex if you haven't had any exposure to these kinds of doctors, this is your introduction to them. But in the back half of the book is the introduction of what's new what's brand new that creates longevity and health and so um i can go through any of those that you want i'm really proud of this book it keeps on selling mm -hmm. and i'm hearing from people in indonesia in australia new zealand um the netherlands uh the the, the you know even the middle east mm -hmm. that we wouldn't think that there would be much interest in there is we all want to live healthy and yeah. that die healthy mm -hmm. right now we are expecting what i call the long drawn out expensive death mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't have to be so so i put myself up as um uh as the poster child for this i am loving aging what what actress entrepreneur writer women woman woman yeah <laughs> has uh, a, a positive uh uh, 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 feeling about aging. I do. I like the way I look. I like the way I feel. I sleep well. But even my voice is, has stayed young. You know, older women get under rickety. It doesn't have to be. That's accelerated aging. And so that's that's what you're going to get in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that people resonate with the book because they can feel that, you know, you look great, you can tell it's authentic, you glow, and Thank I you. think that's why people resonate with the book, and I think it's so true with chemicals. Even for me, I try to stay away from beauty products with chemicals, I like to use oils, so you're definitely onto something, and I think people can feel that. Um, let's talk about some of the beauty tips that you share about health and wellness in general. What's, what's a little snippet that people can... Uh, hear about before they read the book? Um, well, I urge everyone to go to SuzanneSummers.com because that's where all the um, Suzanne Organics uh, products are. Why would that be uh, important? It's what we were just talking about. If you look at your skin under a, a microscope, mm -hmm. what we know of as pores mm -hmm. look like huge holes under a microscope. It's, it's an interesting experiment. Now, imagine that you are putting uh, cosmetics that have chemicals in it. 
in those holes. Well, it's going to drop in, right? It's going to end up in the bloodstream. And then once it's in the bloodstream, that's when your problems begin. Mm -hmm. The chemicals go on a rampage looking for fatty organs and glands, but it first has to go through the GI tract. I, I, like I'm drinking this, this shape right now, it's called Gut Renew. It's a product that we make that is so delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I brought it down, not really to hold it up for you, but to, because I wanted to finish it. Um, it's what's in that Gut Renew, which you can get at SuzanneSummers.com, is um, those things that heal the GI tract. Because when these chemicals that I'm talking about get in the GI tract, they eat through the barrier wall. Mm -hmm. And when they eat through the barrier wall, now the chemicals leak out. You've heard of leaky gut. A lot of young people have leaky gut. Mm -hmm. The chemicals are leaking out. That's your leaky gut. And now they're going to go look for fatty organs and glands. The one they want the most is the brain. The brain is the fattiest organ in the body. It's 65% fat. Mm -hmm. uh, some people, I've seen it as high as 85. I've seen it uh, a little lower. I kind of stay stay with the stats that, um, uh, that I feel are most representative. And uh, it's, it's an incredible thing to understand how this all works so that you can reverse the process. I have granddaughters with terrible gut problems mm -hmm. and they grew up on organic food. Yeah. And they, uh, they both ended up in clinics, one for a year, to heal her gut, which had so caused a foggy brain in kids, it comes in the form of either, you've heard these initials. These initials weren't around when I was a kid. ADD, mm -hmm. ADHD, OCD, um, uh, dyslexia, dyspraxia, and then it goes all the way up into dementia and Alzheimer's. That but all these uh, conditions begin in the gut. Oh, by the way, this is the gut renew. I'm telling you, it tastes good. I put peaches in mine and a little cream. Healthy fats are good for us. Mm -hmm. And that's explained in this book. Uh, I've spent a lifetime, I, you know, uh, what, well, I loved being Chrissy Snow on Three's Company. I loved it. I loved her. I loved creating her. And at the time when I was fired uh, uh, from Three's Company, it felt so unfair because I was at the top of my game. Mm -hmm. I was the number one show in uh, Canada and America. Mm -hmm. I had the highest demographics of any woman in television. But they, Laverne and Shirley had just renegotiated their contract and they kind of gave the network a, a colonic. And so those at ABC at that time said, we've got to stop this. And so I was the next one whose contract was up. And they had decided before Alan Hamill, my Canadian husband, even walked in to renegotiate that they were going to fire me to make an example so no other woman in television would have the audacity to ask for parity. And when he came home that day from that, there were no cell phones at that time, it's hard to believe. When he came home from that meeting, you know, there's a way that when it's good news, the way the front door opens, and there's a way when it's bad news, the way it opens and our front door opens real slow. Slowly. It closed real slow. And then I heard him padding up the stairs. And so I met him at the landing and he looked at me and he said, you're out. I said, out? What do you mean out? out he mm. said you were fired before i even walked in that was the plan today wow. and so i felt at the time it was so unfair but i don't think life is unfair i think as as i sat in my living room for about a year feeling sorry for myself i why why did i do it why wasn't i happy but i had to renegotiate the contract was up why why and then one day i heard a voice in my head and the voice said, why are you focused on what you don't have? Mm -hmm. Why don't you focus on what you do have? And I thought, what do I have? And the voice now answered me. Mm -hmm. And the voice said, you have enormous visibility. Everybody in these two countries and most parts of the world know your name. Mm -hmm. And so I sat back and I thought, that is valuable. Mm -hmm. And so I said to Alan, you know, um, I've always wanted to do a Las Vegas act. Mm -hmm. So he went and made, it's a long story, I won't give the whole story, but he went and made a two-year deal at the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas where I could sing and dance and I could morph into Chrissy Snow and they came, the, the audience, they, the, the MGM Grand was packed twice a night, just packed. Mm -hmm. And in 1987, I was voted 
Las Vegas Female Entertainer of the Year, but that's not all, mm -hmm. along with Frank Sinatra, wow. who was Las Vegas Male Entertainer of the Year. By yeah. the way, Frank, Frank called me baby. Wow. <laughs> I'd walk in a room, if it was there, you go, hello, baby. Uh, you don't you haven't lived till you've heard that. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, my point in telling you that long story, which is off point from this book and off point from my organic products, had I stayed on Three's Company, I would have it would have gone on for another few years, mm -hmm. and I would have loved it, but I was forced to reinvent, and I think that is a message in this book. When one door closes crawl mm -hmm. through a window or another one opens, whatever, whatever, you know, resonates with you. Um, I, I started working nightclubs. That isn't the important part of the story. What do you do during the day when you're on the road as a nightclub performer? Oh, you can sit and watch soap operas, which was what my peers at that time were doing. I started writing mm -hmm. and writing and mm -hmm. writing. And the first book that I wrote was keeping, well, it was my second book. My first book was Touch Me. Uh, but the second book was called Keeping Secrets. Mm -hmm. um, the, the byline on the cover was, I am an adult child of an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my brothers and sisters were robbed of a childhood that no one wanted to talk about. Because when you live with violence or an alcoholic or a drug addict, or whatever, whatever your situation is, you get sick too, even though you're not using. Mm -hmm. And I, it affected my self-esteem. Uh, I was always apologizing for who I was. And in writing these books and the, the, um, the great response to them and mm -hmm. so many bestsellers, uh, it was a big part of my healing of my father's problem wasn't my problem. Uh, I, I benefited from him by, you know, when you live with an abusive person, they want to keep you around so they continue to abuse and tell you you're worthless and you're hopeless. And I believe that. Uh, it was the esteem that I gained from writing the books and then eventually Three's Company, which is such a hit, and then getting fired, and then writing more and more books, up to 27 now, mm -hmm. that um, I realized I got a case of what I call the all show use. Mm -hmm. the, worst, the worst things my dad said to me, the more I thought, oh yeah, well one day I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I did. Yeah. <laughs> Life is a journey, and mm -hmm. one of the things I'm enjoying so much about being 73 uh, is uh, the journey has taught me so much and because of the way I live my life, right, and the, the supplements I take and the, uh, uh, the, the replacement I, I make into my body, I, my, I don't have to take drugs. Mm -hmm. So my mind is sharp and clear yeah. and um, I, I am a, a productive member of society. Mm -hmm. Most healthcare systems are afraid of people my age who's, ah, oh, you're going to get sick and you're going to cost us a lot of money. Nope. I am productive. I don't need anything from my government or from my state or from, uh, I, I make my own money. Mm -hmm. I live a happy life. I am a productive uh, parent to my mm -hmm. children and grandchildren. They all say things like, when we grow up, we want to be just like you and, and uh, they call him Zeta. Mm -hmm. And I said, you should want that. You should want that because we've been taking care of our health. The big takeaway in this is that aging is about worn out parts. And um, the drug answer is to keep putting band-aids on your worn out parts. But eventually the band-aids, you know, get weak and fall off and don't do the job. I put that. And what, that's what this book teaches. It's so valuable to know this. And at your age, it's valuable to know this. I put back what I have lost in the aging process. Mm -hmm. Now, it started with hormones. You're making a full complement of hormones. But I'll tell you, when you stop, mm -hmm. uh, your quality of life diminishes, uh, I, I don't even know, I was going to say tenfold, but it's worse than that. When, you, when you're no longer making sufficient uh, bio hormones, you can't sleep. 
uh, you, your hair looks terrible, your skin wrinkles prematurely, you lose mm -hmm. your sex drive. Um, I call it the seven dwarfs of menopause, itchy, bitchy, <laughs> sleepy, sweaty, bloated, <laughs> forgetful, and all dried up. And um, they're no fun to live with those dwarfs mm -hmm. at all. And they come in and they move in and they're not going to leave until you order them out. Mm -hmm. And bioidentical hormones, and there are a couple of, there's a couple of great doctors in Toronto. Mm -hmm. that I've worked with an interview. One is Dr. Natasha Turner, and the other is Dr. Alvin Petal. I know there are more than that, but that's who I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. They got it early on, and I sent so many of my Canadian girlfriends and male friends to these two doctors to um, put back what they've lost in the aging process. And, and hormones are the juice of youth. Hormones are your it's what you see on me. I'm hormonally balanced. That glow mm -hmm. that you refer to, mm -hmm. that's just because I put back the hormones. So I get to have the glow of a much younger person without drugs. Mm -hmm. And I, I think just that's the only reason you got this book. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a very valuable um, asset mm -hmm. for moving forward. And I don't know about you, but I, I'm 73. I want another 20, 30 years. And I think it's feasible. A hundred percent. And, you know, <laughs> hearing everything that you said, um, you definitely turned some negative situations into positive situations. Yes. I mean, you're a number one New York bestselling author, 27 books years, I mean, 27 books later, you're doing <laughs> fantastic. Um, you. Let's talk about, you talk about having a juice for life um, yes. in your book. So let's talk about living a healthy and balanced lifestyle for you. You talk about it in your book. Let, let's share some of your advice that you would have for our audience? Well, most people accept the fact that they don't sleep very well. And young people aren't sleeping very well because we're being bombarded right now by EMFs, electromagnetic fields and ERs, electromagnetic radiation. This uh, phone that we're on right now, that, those are ERs. Yeah. That, that like wreaks havoc with your brain. And so if you get the information early on to turn off your phone. Yeah. Don't leave your phone on next to your bed at night. In fact, keep it out of your bedroom if you can. Um, if you see around town, and I've seen them in Toronto, I'm always looking for them, what look like pine trees, but they're really not. They're EMF towers. Have you seen oh, any? Yes, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and do you know that I live here, I don't know if you can see out the window here, I live in the, it's the mountains, but I'm in the low part of the mountains of the desert. There's a big mountain over there. Maybe you can see it on this shot. Um, on the other side of that mountain mm -hmm. is a hotel that has one of these big EMF towers. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm getting bombarded here. And so I interviewed a, a PhD. Her name is Elizabeth Ford. And she told me the machinations you have to go through to eliminate that from coming in your house. If one is really near you, you know mm -hmm. what the antidote is? It's awful. Yeah. It's to put tin foil on your windows to keep wow. the, the rats from coming in. I don't have that kind of bombardment here, but I'm aware of it all the time. And I don't like that that tower is over there, but there's certain things that we don't have control of. <laughs> By the way, if you want to have a happy life, um, maybe it's in this book, marry a Canadian. <laughs> uh, all right, that's good advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, uh, I, the day I met Alan Hamill, my Canadian husband, I fell in love, I, and one of the things I'd like to pass on to anybody younger than me is I've always loved Alan and been in love with him. Today I'm so deeply in love and I realize, wow, love grows. Mm -hmm. And if you're lucky enough in life to find a partner that you feel this way about, it intensifies. Mm -hmm. uh, decade to decade it becomes so strong and powerful and meaningful and deep. So that's probably not in this book, but as a result of my good health, and I, I just uh, take good care of him. He mm -hmm. says, I take whatever Dr. Summers gives me. I, mm -hmm. I have his best interest at heart. And so I'll hand him a handful of supplements, I go take them. And he mm -hmm. just takes them because he knows, you know. <laughs> I've, been adding, I've been adding zinc mm -hmm. uh, because of all the, I always think zinc is so important, but with this pandemic and, um, uh, you know, they're talking about that drug hydrochloroquine, which I read incredible things about hydrochloroquine, uh, which has been used for decades in surgery, but also the addition of zinc. Zinc is very, very important. 
The other thing, maybe the most important, you're only going to take one supplement. Mm -hmm. You hate to take pills, you're going to take one. You take a probiotic every mm -hmm. morning and yeah. every night. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had an antibiotic, remember, anti takes away, mm -hmm. pro puts back. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever had an antibiotic in your life, it wipes out the, excuse me, Alan gave me that ring. It wipes out the <laughs> the uh, microbiome balance in your GI tract, mm -hmm. and um, it's real hard to get back. You have to uh, be dedicated to having your GI tract work correctly. Mm -hmm. Most when I lecture to women, I wait till I'm a quarter of the way into the lecture, and I go, "How many of you here today, ladies, are bloated?" Mm -hmm. And there's silence. And then there's a giggle, and then there's a big laugh, and I go, all of you, right? Because, because of the lack of understanding of what they teach in medical school, still today, that if you give a patient an antibiotic, simultaneously give them a high quality probiotic. My company doesn't make probiotics, but the one that I use and get off Amazon is Ohira, O apostrophe H I R R A. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best one because it doesn't have to be refrigerated that when it, when they make it, it's, it's freeze-dried so you can travel with it and there's nothing worse than traveling when you have to keep the medications in mm. a refrigerator. So probiotics, well, you want to get rid of that bloating, you want to get rid of that gas, uh, then the, I wait a little while longer in my lecture and I go, so let me ask you this. How many of you are constipated? <laughs> and I hear a silence, then I hear a little giggle, and then they all laugh. I go, that many, huh? Mm -hmm. And then later on in the lecture, I go, all right, how about this? How many of you sleep five hours or less? Mm -hmm. Pretty much right away, every hand goes up. Mm -hmm. You want to age badly, you want to age prematurely, sleep five hours or less every night. The body mm -hmm. requires eight hours for all the repair functions to happen in that eight hours if you don't get those eight hours you can't retrieve them and uh you're not you're 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 going to you're, you're going to pay physically mm -hmm. you're going to not look as good as you could look but you're going to pay also uh internally in terms of of your health uh senolytics um, have you heard of senolytics i have not okay nobody has so don't <laughs> don't hear that I, i'm introducing it in this book and uh, I was so impressed by it. Our company is uh, making the supplement, but that's not why I'm talking about it. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm in business, but I care less about the business aspect of this other than passing on the information that blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Stenolytics, uh, as we age, our cells and you and me are made up of approximately 40 to tri 60 trillion cells. That's what a human being is. Mm -hmm. And they all communicate with one another. The communication is your hormone system. Mm -hmm. As we get older, we gather debris in our cells. Like if you, I live in a hundred year old house here, it's beautiful, but the pipes get filled up with debris. Mm -hmm. And when the pipes in my house get filled with debris, mm -hmm. uh, the water doesn't flow so well, the pipes don't work so well, the gas lines don't work so well, gotta have the repairmen up all the time, he fixes it, it breaks again. Well, here's what Senolytics does. It cleans out cellular debris. Mm -hmm. And what's also great about it, you take it once a week. Uh, on Fridays is when today's our Senolytic day. And uh, it's very inexpensive, uh, probably under, uh, under $30 a month. Mm -hmm. For that kind of benefit is really incredible. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that at the back of the book, take a look at that. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy for anyone to remember. So what MAD does is it repairs DNA breaks. Mm -hmm. So now that you've got one supplement that's cleaning out cellular debris so those cells work better and communicate better, Mm -hmm. and make you younger it's actually reverse aging mm -hmm. and then the nad repairs any damage that's happened along the way from the years where you didn't sleep etc so those are those are breakthrough mm -hmm. uh new novel uh, protocols that are in here and there's so many more mm -hmm. and if there's one thing that people can take away from this book because 
There's so much information. What's one thing that people can take away from this book about aging and wellness and, you know, being happy and content while you're aging? And that and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Thank you for asking that question. If you're healthy, mm -hmm. you're generally pretty happy. Mm -hmm. Health takes a little work, but when people say to me, ah, oh, it's so much work to do what you do, I go, it's a lot more work to be sick. Yeah. Uh, anybody who's been sick will tell you that. So the effort you put into being healthy, replacing hormones, um, all the testing that you can possibly need is in the back of this book for determining your nutritional and mineral benefits. Why do you care? The, the body can't work without sufficient balance of nutrients and minerals. And mm -hmm. so there are tests that can determine exactly where your levels are. Mm -hmm. And then again, that test readout will say, you need to add more of this and you need to add more of that. And you need to add more of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, doesn't that make sense mm -hmm. to, to do that? So uh, this takeaway of this book is to understand that aging is about worn out parts, but the great new advances in anti-aging is that you can put yourself back together again like Humpty Dumpty and live a much longer life, a much healthier life. If you're healthy, you're gonna be happy. If you're happy and you don't have a partner, you're probably gonna find somebody you wanna share your life with. I don't care who it is, man, woman, it doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. um, we're put here to be happy. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. Yeah. And to learn and grow spiritually and emotionally. And because I am in such terrific balance, I wake up every morning almost bursting with happiness. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I happen to wake up and Alan Hamill is kissing me. Honest to God, it happens every morning. I wake up <laughs> and there it's like all over my face. Is that a Canadian? <laughs> do all Canadian men do that? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what a beautiful thing. Huh? So, yeah. so you can live a long life, look great, feel great, and wake up being kissed in the morning. <laughs> I think that's wonderful and I think you're a prime example of someone who's aging well um, and radiant and it's really something that we can all look up to. So thank you so much Suzanne for being on the show today. I'm really excited to read your book and find out more information. Where can people connect with you on social media and purchase the book? Oh, well you can get the book on Amazon and bookstores but go to SuzanneSummers.com and here's what I'd really like you to do. Mm -hmm. uh, every Tuesday and every Friday, Alan Hamill and I have America's biggest cocktail party, mm -hmm. virtual. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, I guess that's tomorrow night is our next show. And I ask everyone to bring their own tequila, bring your own mm -hmm. salty appetizers. And uh, we talk to them and, and we laugh and oh my gosh, it's so successful. The women and men. Uh, it's, you go to my Facebook page, it's Facebook Live. Uh, women and men are loving the show. They all can comment, we answer the comments and what they all say is like, wow, thank you for inviting us to your home. And we do it from Big Al's Bar, which is generally outside here, but it's too hot to be outside. So Big Al's Bar now is inside until the end of mm -hmm. September. But it's a fun cocktail party and there's only time, well, Alan, Alan serves me one drink, but my daughter-in-law, Caroline, says it's a bucket. So I only have one drink at our cocktail parties, but as important to Caroline, it's a bucket of tequila. And I, the reason that I switched to tequila, because I used to be a wine drinker like most women, because it's more acceptable, you know what I mean? You, no one will think you're a lush if you're drinking a glass of wine. But I noticed my friends and me getting puffy faces and kind of puffy upper bodies and I realized, oh wow, it's all the sugar and all the yeast mm -hmm. in the white wine. Mm -hmm. And then I got mold in my GI tract from the fact that our house burned down and we had to move into a lease house. We didn't know there was mold there. And there's no drug way to get mold out of you. I wrote a book about it called Talk Sick. Uh, and man, was that a big seller because everyone's dealing with these new conditions that uh, we didn't experience before. But we got the mold out of us, and but I didn't want to give up drinking alcohol because I find having a cocktail with my Canadian husband at five o'clock every night is so fun, and we talk and we dance and we listen to music, 
So my kids told me to drink tequila. And I said, oh, I don't drink hard liquor. My father was an alcoholic and my father's father was an alcoholic. And the re I thought when, we were, when I was a kid that the reason people died was they got cirrhosis of the liver. Mm -hmm. But what I found out about clear tequila is there's little to no sugar. So you don't gain any weight. You don't get the puffy face. You don't get the puffy upper body. I drink it on ice and I have really grown to love it. <laughs> so that's my vice. I uh, rarely eat sugar just because I don't have an interest in it. I eat organic food only. We grow our own orga organic food. Uh, we have to let the garden rest right now because it's so hot. But come September, I'll plant you know pumpkins and melons and things like that. And then we get into broccoli and cauliflower. And, yeah, I don't know. Life is fun. I'm having so much fun. And I work <laughs> from home. We do three Facebook live shows a week, two are cocktail parties. And on Wednesdays, I take you into my kitchen and I uh, cook things and teach you how to cook because I want nine of my books have been uh, best selling cookbooks. Mm. Nice. Well, I definitely want to attend the virtual cocktail party. That sounds fun. <laughs> so okay. I'm definitely. <laughs> Maybe you'll be there tomorrow night, if not. Yes. Tuesday, Friday, five o'clock California time. So that would be eight o'clock your time, right, Ellen? I'm not. <laughs> See, I know how the body works. I can tell you how all the parts work. Math. Uh, I am dyslexic, and so everything <laughs> does this for me. So anyway, <laughs> I so enjoyed talking with you. Yes. Thank you for being on the show and. Uh, Say bye to your Canadian husband as well. Thanks for all of his help and come back anytime. Thank you. I would love to. It's a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Suzanne. Bye-bye. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.